Do it again. Okay. Do yours again. Okay. Very nice. Uh, it's okay. a haunted doorbell, quote unquote. It's like a screech. Yes. Yeah, it has three different sounds. I like it because you can press and get a turn. Did, yes. did you bring a toy? I don't have any. He's okay. going to share. Okay, sharing. Okay, good. All right, then did you and bring there's you mine, uh, which we uh, took apart. It's not talking. Okay. Here's the roof oh, follow oh, hair. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no look, it's, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's not only really talking, it's moving. Yes, it works. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm on the run. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna put you on your Ooh. side. <laughs> oh, okay. Open. I guess I'm not even like the most oh, just gonna go off and I'm just gonna go off. <laughs> I'm on the run. I know, I know. How do I turn it off? You don't. Uh, you can cut it. Take the battery out. No, there's a. Thank goodness. Oh, that didn't work. Open the box. Okay. There. So right. now I said to open the keypad box. I've been sentenced to open the keypad box. I've been sentenced to open the keypad box. Okay. Hey, keep out. Hey, keep out. Hey, keep out. Oh, cool. So nice. here's an example of what you can do with your hat talking tool. Nice. We have a little micro switch. Uh-huh. Oop. There right. it goes. A little uh -huh. micro switch set up. And did you get a chance to see it? We have a hacked version of the yada yada inside. We've attached a pair of wires to the switch that, uh, that activates the play button. And when you open it up, the switch is activated. Followed with a more complicated toy, you can set it up so that uh, you would have something uh, running through the um, mm -hmm. power connection, running through the uh, like the, uh, the lock, so that when you open it up, it breaks the connection and then it says something like There you go. Stop. Or ah, there you go. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that when it comes up, exactly. That's why we have our trash can. So when our trash can it comes up. He calls out his name, which is Steve. Steve. Or he says, Yo, Steve. trash. <laughs> it's like that one thing, it's just that one trash can. It's like it's like trash can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, what's this switch? I don't know. It's a joystick. Oh, it's the there amount of. Go. Oh, it turns off the sound. Okay. I'm almost sorry I'm going to hack this. <laughs> okay. We got, uh, we got some things plugged in. What the input voltage is, you should be able to do that without any trouble. And you would substitute your own batteries because you were trying to make the battery footprint smaller? Well, you might actually uh, want to make the battery footprint larger. Or larger. And make it the last one because these little button cells. Oh, uh, right. Have okay. A million amp hours rating that, that tends to be more like in minutes. Can you <laughs> take the wrapper off of, the, uh, off of like double A's and then, they'll, and then there's like a bunch of things that work as double You know what? I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, just the plastic covering on right. some of the, on some batteries, especially the older ones. Yep. So these, these little cells are, I know that they are uh, one and a half volts a piece and there are three of them. They are not marked on here. How to get parts inexpensively. Notice the, uh, the bottom of the very last line. The sensor, the huh? Cannibalized broken toys. Yep. Yep. Take me again. Catch me. Oh, there Here you I go. Come. I'm it's on a sensor. Yay. I have to say, this is the best 50 cents I ever spent. It was 50 cents? Yeah, at the Salvation Army. And here I get a sensor, the circuit board, the um, light. I don't know what that is. But this, this is a sensor. Oh yeah. It's an ultrasonic sensor. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I was looking for one over there. Yeah. We're trying to put these boxes down, and then we were cutting them, and then we were coloring them, so we could stick them on the sensor to make them like have beards and noses and glasses. Hmm. Let me make that. Stab! 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 So this is the. These are the motors, but why do we have these kids here? For the tail to move. So it's a sensor and the tail moves. I guess it's a Small one. So we're looking at this switch right here. It's so a very interesting switch. So one of the things we can do um, that I mentioned on the front here is you can throw in a potentiometer to turn the volume down. Jack. Right. So there we go. 50, so that could be the improvement. Right. You yes. can make an improvement. Yeah. yeah. Because mom doesn't right, like how guys. loud it is. Mm -hmm. And this is the switch. Mm -hmm. Have you solved this problem yet? Yeah. Oh, oh, did we turn it off? Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Now try just touching it. Oh, they're marked on one side. It doesn't go, right? So the switch is actually required to make it go. So we're thinking that it makes a connection that somehow starts a timer. Yeah. Right there. It's an on off switch. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Yeah. It's a cool switch. Yeah. I wonder if we can use something like this other metallic thing to connect them. Like, oh, yeah. Good idea. Or just use these. Two points of that. Let's see here. Uh, like. There you go. There we go. So we're completing the circuit. With yeah. The so. So this seems like a very easily hackable thing to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So on that. What's this? Touch the two metal parts and. Yeah. There you go. Pretty mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. It's set up right now so that it is normally closed. Mm -hmm. But I'm pressing down on it, right? Yeah. So that opens up the circuit. When I when I open up the lid of the box, the switch goes up. Oh, I see. And it closes the circuit. But you see, I've soldered two pins off. If I just switch the the middle pin for the uh, for the end one, uh -huh. then it'll be the opposite. Yeah. Maybe I can bring this up on like a gate. On a, on a gate. Right, yeah. and you can have it. Oops. You can have it go off only when the switch gets depressed, or go off when the switch gets lifted, like this one. So that switch is really versatile. Yeah. If you notice on the back side. So what are you doing? I'm trying so to make this, this work. Yeah. I have shaky hands. It's hard to do it. Here. Work. All right. Oh, ready? So, so what are you doing when you do that? You're taking these two and shorting the circuit with putting them against the screen. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we have a question, Dad. Sure. Why are you? Why did you pick those two points to have them short out? I so see. here's the button. Mm -hmm. I've kept my finger on the button, and I turned it over and asked myself, "All right, the button is about this wide. All right, can you see if you look underneath here? The actual button has two legs. Can you see the bottom? The button, uh, the button part closest to the board. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. I think you can. Okay. Mm, oh well. Look right here. See how there's there's a little leg there? Yeah, I see it. And another one there? Oh yeah. Well, if you follow those legs, you can see where they go through the board. That's called a through hole connection. There's a hole drilled in this little PC board, and the legs go right through, and it's soldered on the bottom. So it's easy for you, that's one of the reasons why we drew the map, to, trap, uh, to track where these uh, buttons go. And then what you can do is this. You can attach your own wires. I soldered some wires to those buttons so that I could just touch the wires together to make the button go off. Mm. Okay? And I also soldered some some wires to the battery input so that I could use my own battery power. If you open this guy up, and this should be easy with I just put two screws back in. Never put all of the screws back in. <laughs> If you look at this guy, which is not hacked, 